hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how to install the latest version of kali linux version 2024.2 on vmware now the first thing we're going to do is download and install vmware and to do that let's head to our browser so initially to download vmware we just have to go to vmware official website click on products and under desktop hypervisors you can see workstation pro and workstation player is no longer here now if we click on workstation pro it should take us to this page vmware desktop hypervisors so if we scroll down here and then click on vmware workstation pro for pc download now it is now going to take us to broadcom official website that is because vmware is now part of broadcom now to download vmware pro we have to create a broadcom account now you can click on the login button right here and then click on register here you can create a broadcom account which you can now use to sign in to download vmware now i already created a broadcom account so i'm just going to head into sign in so let's log in with our username and password so this is our broadcom dashboard and you can see under my downloads it is empty and if you click on all products nothing is working if you click on products up here it should take us to broadcom product page and if you scroll down you wouldn't find vmware among the list of options here and now if we go up you're also going to see that vmware is now part of broadcom the vmware products can be found at the vmware products page but if we click on the vmware products page it's going to take us to the page we are coming from let's scroll down to vmware workstation pro right since that's what we need click on vmware workstation pro and it is taking us to the page we are coming from now if you click on download now under vmware workstation pro for pc it is still going to take us to the download page of broadcom which doesn't really present vmware that we initially want to download now i have a link to vmware blog where you can download vmware workstation pro from so let me just paste the link there i'll provide this link in the video description so you can head directly here so this is a blog post that was made may 13th 2024 and if you scroll down here you can see pro apps are now free for personal use and licensed for commercial use so vmware workstation pro is now free down here you can see vmware fusion pro and vmware workstation pro download so let's click on vmware workstation pro download and it should redirect to vmware page on broadcom so here we go this is vmware workstation pro for windows mac os and linux now make sure to select workstation pro for personal use if you go with the workstation pro for windows it is going to require you have a license since this is not the personal use version so let's click on the vmware workstation pro for personal use and select the version you want to download this is the latest version at the moment so you can go with whichever version you want and then click on i agree to terms and conditions right here i agree now you can click on the download button by the side here and it should start downloading vmware workstation pro download complete now let's close our browser and head to our download folder so this is vmware workstation pro we just downloaded now let's double click to run next agree to the terms next 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 and then install on vmware workstation player we had limitations like not being able to run more than one virtual machine vm snapshot vm cloning sharing your virtual machine nested virtualization and many more and now we can now do all of that and more for free using vmware pro now click on finish now we can run vmware workstation pro from our desktop so basically this is how to install vmware workstation pro for free on your windows pc next we have to download kali linux installer so let's head to our browser and then head to kali.org now click on the download button right here and it should take you down here and here we can click on installer images to download the installer image of kali linux you can see the version here kali linux 2024.2 changelog and you can see the 64-bit installer right here 
now let's click on the 64 bit installer and it should start downloading the size is around 4 gigabytes after downloading kali linux we can then close our browser and then open our download folder so here we go this is our kali linux installer file right here now let's run vmware which we've already installed vmware workstation pro right here which is free for personal use now we can click on create a new virtual machine and then set the type to typical next set the installer disk image file click on browse and then locate your download folder and select our kali linux installer file open click on next and under guest operating system select linux and under linux select ubuntu 64 bits next and then give this virtual machine a name i'm going to call it kali linux and then the location here is where you want the virtual machine to be running from now you can check your file explorer for the drive you have space in my case my c drive doesn't have enough space so i'm just going to move it to another of my drives so i'm just going to create a new folder let's just call this kali vm so you can see you can install it wherever you want you could just go with the default location here if you have enough space on your drive but since i don't really have much storage on my drive i'm just going to click on browse and then select the drive i have enough space okay and i click on next now set the disk size the minimum i would recommend is 30 gig but i'm going to give this 80 gigabytes and then next click on customize hardware now under memory this is your ram you can set how much ram you want to allocate to your virtual machine i'm going to give it around 7.6 gigabytes since i have 16 gigs on my pc now you shouldn't give more than 40 percent of your ram to your virtual machine else it will slow down your host computer next go to processor section and then set the number of processor cores you want to allocate to this virtual machine so to check the processor or processor core on your system hold ctrl shift escape to open task manager Go to performance click on cpu and under cores you should see number of cores you have and number of threads so the socket right here is the processor we have just one socket with one processor and it has four cores and eight threads so we have to select number of cores one allocates to this virtual machine so i'm going to give it to since i have four cores you should allocate more than 50 percent to your virtual machine as well now we can click on close click on finish and we can click on power on this virtual machine to begin the installation first we are going with graphical install so hit enter next select a language for the installation i'm just going to go with english and then continue also set your country or region and then continue set your keyboard layout continue now enter a host name for your machine we're just gonna leave it as kali enter a domain name if you have one available continue enter a full name for this user continue enter a username which we're going to use to log in continue and then enter a password as well continue now select your time zone and then continue now we're going to go with guided partitioning which is going to use the entire disk we allocated earlier so just click on continue and then you can see the drive right here around 85 86 gig continue all files in one partition that's recommended continue finish partitioning and write changes to disk so it's going to create a primary partition with around 85 gig and a logical swap partition with around 1 gig so select finish partitioning and write changes to disk continue select yes to agree and write changes to disk continue and it should start installing the base system and this should take a couple of minutes before it prompts you to select a desktop environment. This video is sponsored by Vapex.
Vapex is a web hosting company that offers lots of hosting options, ranging from WordPress hosting to shared web hosting to cloud hosting to Windows VPS hosting to Linux VPS hosting as well. You can check out any of the hosting plan, it is quite cheap and reliable. Link in description. Now back to the video. Now we have to select our desktop environment. I personally prefer Xface, but you can go with GNOME or KDE Plasma. So I'm just going to select Xface and then continue. And it should start installing. Now select yes to install Grub Bootloader and continue. Select the destination right here, dev sda, continue. And it should install the Grub Bootloader. Restart the VM after the installation. And then select Kali GNU and it should boot into Kali Linux. Now log in with the username and password you set. And then log in. So basically, this is how to install the latest version of Kali Linux version 2024.2 on VMware. You can see the tools and everything else is showing. You can even go to about xface and you should see details about your kali linux machine like the processor amd ryzen 5 and then our memory right here which is our ram now you can use it for whatever purpose you intend to use it for also don't forget to eject the iso by going to vm removable disk cd slash dvd settings and then on select connected at power on on select connected and then click on ok If this video was helpful, kindly hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification. Thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.